Okay, folks, um, on the VNAOS over at the moment, this is a really cool um, carrier training mod. This is the T45 Goshawk. Quite a few people, I think, have already done videos on this, but I thought I would make one. Quick startup tutorial. As far as I understand, on the right, on the left hand side, left click to go to engine on and battery one, battery two, and AC reset. Uh, sorry, generator reset set to on. And then you want to map a control to do the following gas turbine starter button. Okay, I've got a momentary switch on my throttle map to that. Okay, hit that, let it run for a few seconds. Okay. And then you can right click and hold the engine start button until we get a ready light command. Then we need to do another mapping, which is the throttle finger lift, which I've got set to a joystick button 29, which is the throttle dedent on the HOTAS. And then that's your engine started up. Okay. Uh, that's the equivalent of the APU turning off, hydraulic reset press. Um, don't think these do anything back here. I uh, don't need to do anything with that just now. So now we can turn on the NFDs and the hood. We can turn on the radios. Uh, if you necessary, you can turn on your uh, Takan. And you can turn on what else can we turn on? Uh, lights. Switch all those on. And I think that is pretty much it. Oh, um, ADI and hood. Close canopy. Okay, think other things. You want to do all your basic other, other mappings. Oh yes, ejector seat arm. Oh, probably should have done that earlier on. Uh, wheel brakes, flaps, uh, speed brakes. Uh, you've got your comms menu, which for some reason doesn't seem to work when I'm in the air. I don't know why that is. I've got something mapped for gear. Uh, I've got something mapped for nose wheel steering high mode. That's high mode. And that's normal mode. For some reason on this server I can't contact the um, ATC to request anything. Anything. Interior lighting. Also got something mapped for weapon release. Not that I've got, I'm carrying any weapons, as this is just a training flight. Okay, so um, 
gear is down, launch bar is up, flaps are set to half, anti-skid is on because we're not on the carrier, uh, hook is up, uh, handbrake is off, Good track of control surfaces. Okay, that's all good. Okay, full throttle. Three, two, one, release. Oh, steer it. I think we take off about 120, something like that. There we go. Flaps up. Ooh. That's not watching what I'm doing. Gear up. And we're up in the air. Yeah, I haven't got any warning lights. Yeah, so this is like quite a cool little mod. Uh, I've just been flying it around for a couple of hours got uh, the basics, managed to get it down on the carrier a couple of times, my best score uh, is only uh, 36 I think if you've got the um, scoring the carrier approaches and stuff, I've got 36 out of what is it, 60 or 66 so not, not the greatest of scores but still. So if we wanted to go and get our Takan and stuff we've got Tack hands up here. Two, three, six degrees, so we turn on to two, three, six. We should get the little heading bar there so we can line up with our tack hand. Likewise, if we swap to waypoints. Uh, waypoint one, uh, two, three, one degrees. Let's turn onto that. So you can see that all works. Um, not all the switches and buttons are mapped or work, but uh, most of the key ones do. I've got Master Arms set to a Mahotas. Yeah, so nice little little aircraft. Take it up high. Go for a fly over the mountains. We go and land at uh, Batumi Airfield. about engine management in this I'm just going to leave power about 95% nice mod this I don't, I don't normally do mods but uh, I'm enjoying this and it's um, multi crew as well so if you haven't got it um, I guess look up the VNAO uh, server or the VNAO group 
and uh, get in touch and if you're interested in flying carrier based ops they're a good squadron to fly with pretty laid back and they also offer training if you're interested um, and they'll um, tell you how to download the mod and how to install it there's a couple of good videos on startup uh, and of course there's my video decide whether that's good or not we'll see Go fly down the uh, valley. Let's trim it out a bit. Yeah, for some reason, uh, I don't know if it's because of this server, I can't get the comms menu up when I'm airborne. Always good fun flying down here. It's nice and nimble. jumped into the rear seat there when I went into uh, F4 view flying in virtual reality Oculus Quest 2 I've got uh, Verpil stick a Warthog Hotas throttle Saytech Pro Combat rudder pedals, RTX 3080 Ti is powering it all uh, with a, an older generation Z390 motherboard and i7 9700K processor. Everything's pretty much running its standard clock. to me harbour over on the left there and I'll make our approach okay and to skid this on our air brakes out Down. Yeah. Oh, I overcooked it a little tiny bit there.
we go. And that's it, T45. Hope you enjoyed this little video. See you on the next one.